Welcome back to Flame Talk. I'm your host, Evie. Today, I have a special guest. Her name is Mary Kate. She is an expert relationship matchmaker in addition to a dating relationship coach. I will be introducing her today. She will be talking about a little bit about her background and what is it that she is doing. And she does. Mary Kate, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Evie. Yes, it's honor. such a pleasure. Mm-hmm. Can you let us know a little bit about what is it that you do? Yes. And that's it. All mm-hmm. right. So here's the, the 401. So I'm a matchmaker, and basically clients help me uh, personally advocate for them to find their ideal matches. So it's not for the person who can't find dates. It's for the person who doesn't have the time to go on the bad dates. You know, mm. in this day and age, like, we're just saturated with options, and yeah. they want, like, a proper person to, like, filter through those options, take out the legwork for them, you know, and set them excellent. up on quality dates. So I organize their dates, and they meet there. Oh, yeah. that's excellent. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I do dating coaching as well, so I help people through their dating app. Uh-huh. Um, I help customize their profiles. I work one-on-one with them, build a customized dating plan with goals and actions, um, and I also help work their dating app for them. Oh, that's a, that's interesting, especially yeah. here in Miami. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you what would you say it it's one of the things, the complaints that you get about dating in Miami? Because it's Miami. <laughs> yes. Uh I don't know how many complaints should I choose from. <laughs> Let's see. There are a lot, Evie. There right. really are. And mm-hmm. I like to help manage people's expectations okay. because a lot of times their complaints are actually things that they should be complaining about themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, So, for example, like, oh, it takes takes so much work, or there's inauthenticity, you know, out there. People are like, you know, they're lying or whatever. Yes, it takes work. Like, yes, absolutely. Like, COVID changed things for us. So, yes, dating apps take a lot more work today than they did pre-COVID, you know? But, hey, how are you showing up in the apps? How authentic are you being in those conversations? What type of quality questions are you asking these people? You know, so I kind of, dating all it is, Evie, is looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, what do I got to tweak? What's not been going right that I've been doing before? About yourself. And and you're like, your approach towards dating and your mindset. Mm, Yeah, so that plays a big role. So the complaints, geez Louise. um, Here in Miami, like, I mean, granted, we're here in Miami, right? Exactly. But I hear so many things about Miami. Like, it's the worst place to date. This is a party city. Mm -hmm. Everybody is you know, superficial. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I say, like, in Spanish, like, eredolo. like, there's a little bit of everything, you know? Yes, they're the party people, like, the right. party girls, the party boys, you've got that, you know? So, yeah, if you're going out to 11 trying to meet the love of your life, well, then that's on you, okay? You're not going to likely meet the love of your life. Is it possible? Yes, but it's very minimal, like, the chances. Right. You know, so there are good people, they're good people. I met my husband, you know, nice. in Miami. Um, I've connected and, you know, I've had the great fortune to connect people in love in Miami. You know, so it is possible, but I always question people. I kind of push back and I say, wait, why that mindset? Right. You know, <laughs> why? Because, yeah, of course it's going to be hard. Of course it's going to be bad if you keep saying that dating Miami is so hard and so bad, you know. Like, just look at what you're doing, you know, and how intentional you're being in your dating. Because if you're just waiting for someone to come, like, you know, pick you up at that nice, like, restaurant in Bell Harbor, you know, um, well, maybe you'll be waiting for a long time, you know? But, like, it takes two to tango. So, like, what are you doing and how are you intentional are you being in your dating? Awesome. Wow. We don't, and people tend not to always look at things in that aspect. Right. At all. And anything, like, you know, like, but anything amazing, right, in life, like, takes work, takes Absolutely. legitimate intention, planning, you know, like, going to college, you know, like, buying a home, like, all of that comes with planning, you know, just, no one just wings it, but I think a lot of times here in Miami, people are thinking of just by winging it, or just having, you know, just so beautiful, well, last time I checked, there's a dime a dozen beautiful people around here, I mean, this is oh, the sexiest city in the world, yes, you I know? agree, so <laughs> just being beautiful doesn't cut it, that's right, yeah. no, 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 yeah. not at all, now, where do you do these, like, match so, I mean, I work, I work from home. I have my own business from home. Okay. But I do um, singles events. 
you know. That's so nice. I host like monthly singles events um, at Dua. It was before SLS Brickle, but now it's called Dua. Okay. Um, and so that's where like I love to match people real time. And these are people who not only are investing their time and money, right. you know, to this event, you know, mm -hmm. but that clearly means they're taking dating seriously. Of course. So right now you're automatically being potentially matched with someone who's on the same wavelength as you. You know, you got to get around the same people who want what you want. Absolutely. They always yeah. say that surround yourself, even in in real life, with anything that you do. Yeah. Surround yourself with positive people. Yeah. Like minded people. Want the same goals. Yes. Like they, these events. Um, generally are like 30 to 45 year olds like okay. working professionals working professionals you know so like you already have something in common a little bit um and again wanting the same thing that's that's a big one you know again these right. the people who go to these events aren't people like who are trying to pick up people like at 11 or like some club on right. south beach you know they're there at a day and event on a friday night that's cool yeah. now how do you advertise is that how do yeah. Is it on social media? Right. How do you put these events together? Well, on Evie's podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, right here. Um, you saw it when? No. Um, Eventbrite. Eventbrite is a big one. Instagram, you know, and I'll have some good friends promote it, you know, and, like, who are also are single and, like, hey, this is my girl. She does matchmaking. Um, she hosts these events. So, yeah. And, honestly, in all the events, and gracias a Dios, you know, they're good people that come. Good. You know, like you may not find the love of your life, but you are going to have meaningful conversations. Break back, like peel back the layers of the onion, as I say it, you know, and like practice talking in real time. Because so many times we're behind the screens hiding ourselves, you know, we do it without even thinking about it. Right. But this like gives you in a setting where like you're breaking the ice. And that's what it takes. Right, which it makes sense. Yeah. Do you yeah. have people that usually come back? Like yeah, I have a lot of repeat people come repeat. back. Um, in fact, speaking about it right now, this is reminding me I need to follow up with a guy who went out actually on a date in my last event, and I want to see where they're at right now. Okay, so yeah. you follow up? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, this no. is awesome. Yeah, and then the event before that, there were um, two couples that left together that night, and I know for a fact that one had a follow-up date too. So, yeah, there's potential. <laughs> there's a lot of potential out there. That's good. Now, do yeah. they usually do, like, the second dates, third dates? And, like, it's been successful is my yes, other. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, people have met each other, and um, and I've gone on dates, and I continue to follow up. And so it's going well. It's going well, I'm, I'm proud to say. And honestly, um, the venue, cha like, once I changed venues, I used to host mm. at a different place, but when mm. I changed venues, okay. um, the quality of people even went more. So. Well, I mean, this place is in Brickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot. It's a nice brand. It's nice so. because that's more like a working little yes. area. It's more professional. I mm -hmm. think it's when you talk about Brickle, it's more mature as yeah. opposed, let's say, maybe Wynwood. Wynwood is a younger crowd. It's a younger crowd. I, the venue dictates who comes, definitely. I have people wanting me to do it in Coral Gables, oh. but that would probably be a different age bracket. I'll probably right. do like 35 to 55. Right. Yeah. That so it depends. Sense. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's for everyone, you know. The okay. ones in uh, the Dua is though the the thirty to forty five. Thirty yeah. to forty five. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. So, so that's more like the <laughs> the uh, the age bracket that you yeah. usually. Mm, for record. matchmaking, um, it it all depends. Um, okay. I haven't had anyone hire me below thirty eight, but it all depends. Okay. Yeah, um, because there's like it's it's a luxury service. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It really right. is. You know, of it's course. like. It's like a concierge. Like someone is literally doing all that work for you and just saying, hey, I brought Amanda. You know, this is why she is, why, why I think she's compatible with you. You know, I really think you should go out with her. Da, da, da. I set the date and they meet there. Um, but there's also the coaching part too, you know, if okay. people can't afford the matchmaking. So it's a little bit of everything. And that's true. Yeah. With that, in that aspect. And how about you? Like, what are you doing for dating right now? Well, I, myself, I yeah. am in a relationship. Oh. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. And how'd you guys meet? Um, well, this is someone I knew from years ago. Oh, really? Like childhood? But yeah. It was long. Well, you know, maybe my mid-20s. Okay. That I, mean, I mean, we lost contact, granted, you know, yeah. and then like ran into a friend, you know, I was single and it was like, oh, hey, you know. Nice. So, Oh, yeah. I like that. Just All natural. Yeah. All natural. All people. So <laughs> but listen, I'm not opposed yeah. also back then to the online dating. Yeah. Like. I know you got to be careful. It's <laughs> where I'm kind of scared. It's where I met my husband. <clears throat> Online. Bumble. No way. Yes, it's where the majority of people, um, 30 to 48, are meeting, like, landing long-term relationships. Majority. Okay. 50%. So that's the majority. But still, you know, so if people are dating with intention and, like, being an active participant in their love life, then I say you have to be on the app. 
Like, just what are you going to do? Go out every night? Right. Meet up groups every night? Like, yeah. that's exhausting. And inexpensive. Yeah. Expensive. Totally. Time, Expe- money. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, and there's so many people that are scared to do the online dating. And I'm all for it. Th- me <laughs> and you both. It. Me and you both. I'm like, I have to be. Like, I, I'm a proponent because, hello, I'm walking the walk. I met my husband on it. Yeah. You know, um, and my two sisters, their husbands on dating apps. Um, but, like, people are just saying that they're bad because, yes, do they have scammers? Yeah. They do. Are they all scammers? Oh, no, they're, right. they're not. Do they take work? Yes, they do. They take work, you know. Um, but if you have a right filtering system mm-hmm. and boundaries around your time on the apps, then they can absolutely be effective. Dang. Yeah. Fine. How do you, can you, like, those scammers, how do you, like, I think it's that? easy, right? Really? Like, you know, so men, they're getting asked money, like, to be investing oh. in crypto. Like, that's a big scam, right. you yes. know? So, yeah, right when you see that, you know, or even if it's maybe the third or fourth conversation, then red flag, red flag, you know. But, again, rather than getting frustrated by it, just accept that that's, those are the times we live in. So, for example, like when my parents told me, um, like, what, what, okay, 20, 25, I'm like, okay, like 15 years ago, um, when, like, the cell phone, like, we'll never get a cell phone. Do my parents have cell phones and they text me all the time? Yes. <laughs> like, they wanted to defy the technology. Right. You know, so people try to do that with the dating apps. Like, oh, my gosh, I'm just going to meet someone out. Well, best of luck. That's what they did back 30 years ago. But those aren't the times we're living. You right. know, so you either can get frustrated by the technology or embrace it and accept it. Yeah. I mean, it's like now, like, Instagram. Mm-hmm. People are just sliding into people's DMs. Totally. That's another way. Hey, you're it, meeting people that way. I know couples, a married couple that met in Instagram. Married. Married. Mm. Yeah. Like, okay. I was like, wait. Did you just say Instagram? And like they've been together for a long time. This was like back in Instagram when I didn't even think it was like a big deal. Right. And they right. met on Instagram because he was like, "Oh, you're pretty." Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of ways to work it. There's yes. A lot of ways to work it. Technology. This yes. is the thing. It's evolving, and I've talked about this before. And that's hey, you can use it to your advantage, <laughs> whether it be business, you're trying to date, you know. You- Absolutely. But give yourself boundaries. Right. You know, because it can suck you in those dating apps, you know. And by the way, they are built to be addicting. Right. They're built to have you stay on them. Okay. Um, so give yourself, like I always say, like, I coach clients, like log in like 20 minutes in the morning, whatever it is, have your mm-hmm. breakfast, like chill out 20 minutes. Um, hello, we all go to the bathroom. <laughs> so that's <laughs> a time to do it. Um, most people are. Um, and so log it and then like, at, and then shut it up and then log back in at night, you know? But it is true. It is addicting. Matter of fact, I heard mm-hmm. today someone was talking about that. Really? Regarding the app, how addicting they can be, they are. And so mind you, like dating, you're getting hit. Now you want to know, let me see who's hitting me up. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see. Because it's a dopamine hit. It is. Ding, ding. Yay. Yeah. I got a like, you know, and we're human. We all want that, you know. But again, how much are you letting that control you? Because that's true. when it has a negative connotation. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's do the boundaries. The yeah. other question I was going to ask you, do you see, in your opinion, mm-hmm. is there a difference between paid apps and apps that are free? For example, Good like question. that plenty of fish that everybody talks about. Yeah. Like, oh, everybody's there is just for fling. Okay. As opposed to Bumble. That you gotta pay now. You gotta pay. Isn't that right. crazy? The league. I don't know if women have to pay on the league and men do. I, I don't know, but that's another. No, I think the league you have to bo- both have to pay. There's so many. That's an app. Yeah, and it's for um, like I think you have to be invited on the app. It's a little bit more exclusivity. Mm. So it's like before, like celebrities only used it, and now it's like more mainstream. Um, but it's supposed to be for like successful people. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I know people who are on it, and they're like, um, they match people. Of course, based on all these com- compatibility and mm. algorithms and stuff. But again, you could be matched with someone in Sweden. But you oh. live here in Miami. Yeah. Oh. So it's like, is that really convenient? Yeah. Mm. No girlfriend right. of mine literally got matched with someone in Sweden. <laughs> right. yeah, I mean, he was gorgeous, but right. what are you going to do? Wait. A lot of it is physical. A lot of it is just like purely like good looks. Like, you know, I mean, again, you have to be invited onto it. So not just anyone can join. Um, but anyways, long story short, any app. You know, like, are you just using Tinder and then complaining that people are only asking for hookups? Well, that's on you because Tinder is known for a hookup kind of a atmosphere and, mm-hmm. and an app. Um, I say get on multiple, you know, get on Hinge, um, you know, I, Plenty of Fish is one, Match.com. But, yes, they are charging now. So you just have to, f- you know, play around with it. Figure out which one is the best for you. I myself was right. on Bumble and Hinge, and they were good. They were good. Yeah. yeah. You do have to pay for those. 
right? I, Bumble, I know you just do Hinge. Is that requiring payment now? I, I cannot uh, keep up because they change all the time. Okay. Um, but it's funny because I used to, um, my male client, I was like, yeah, no, like they're charging me now. I'm like, oh, they weren't because now I was working my female clients Bumble and it wasn't charging her. So I don't know if it's a lottery system who was like right. getting, you know, but it's worth it. So just put yourself out there and mm -hmm. see what works for you. Yeah. Be it if it's a paid yeah. app or not paid. Yeah. I mean, look at Instagram. And I will say this actually, the last mm -hmm. client who hired me, he hired me because he did the math. He did the math of what he was paying um, for one of the dating apps. Okay. Plus the actual date itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he was like, in the next six months, I estimate to pay around like $10,000. And the amount of dates that I've been going on, Miami ain't cheap to go out to restaurants. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> and so, and then like the, like the, whatever the monthly thing was. And he's like, if I hire you, <laughs> he's like, I'm paying less. He's like, so that's how I looked at it, you know? Um. Because it's time and it is money for those it dates. It is true. Yeah. Not only that, I mean, again, it's expensive. Can you yeah. imagine being out on a date every other day? And especially mm -hmm. here in Miami, if you want to go somewhere nice, yes. you know, it's it's costly. Yes. And not only that, but then what you're costing yourself is your time and money. And then, ¿y para qué? For what? Right. You come home frustrated and disappointed that that m date was, wah, 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 you know? Right. And so, yeah, it's funny how he, like the guy broke that down. I was like, you're a smart person. That's why you're hiring right. me. Exactly. Like, I was like, you're saving yourself money. It's an yes. investment like anything, like anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a, it's a, you got to look at it like that. You know, add That's up the true. numbers. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Any successful stories like marriage that you? I have uh, oh. two engagements under my <laughs> belt. Yeah, Yay. I know. I know. I'm no, truly like I'm honored. I feel That's That's really called. Yeah. Um. And so, yeah, they, they connected and. Like any dates, like, you know, I can predict compatibility. Mm -hmm. I cannot predict chemistry, though. Mm. Right? You on paper could be so great with someone. You know, I know you. Uh, I met him, you know, a couple times because I interview everyone. You mm -hmm. know, and it's like, oh, yeah, I could definitely see a lot of, like, fireworks, you know, here. Right. And then you go out, and you're like, I understand why he chose you chose him for me, but just, like, wasn't feeling it, you know? Mm. Like, you know, I always encourage, like, date them until you hate them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's I, a good one. <laughs> yes, date them until you hate them because you don't know. Like, right. do not put this pressure that has to have 100% chemistry on the first date. I didn't have 100% chemistry on the first date with my husband. I didn't. It, had to, it grew. He did, which is great. Kudos to you. But I didn't, you know? And so, you know, with these with two, I was fortunate that, yeah, the chemistry and, mm. and everything aligned. That's excellent. Now, in your opinion, do you think what's important, chemistry or compatibility? Okay. Compatibility? Mm -hmm. Screw chemistry. Screw That's chemistry. my opinion. Good. <laughs> Amen, sister. We're on the same page. Yes. Screw chemistry. You put way too much. And I don't know. I, w I don't want to say. I was sorry. I was about to make a general statement. I hate to do that, especially <laughs> in dating. Women are like that. Men are like that. Right. Don't do that. It's stupid. It's a losing game. But I was about to make the mistake and say men usually put more emphasis on chemistry. Just because I've really, in all the men that I've spoken with, I hear it more from them. You mm. know? But it doesn't mean that women do it too. Um, so what does chemistry mean? Last time I checked, I can be waiting in line at Publix, and I can have chemistry with the man standing in front of me. I can. We can have really mm. friendly banter. Right. This is good. This is good chemistry. We literally have chemistry. Does that mean that we're supposed to be together? Right. No. It says nothing virtually about how he will treat me in that relationship. Right. What his values are. So screw chemistry. And this notion that we have to put this emphasis and this pressure on chemistry, it's a losing battle. Focus on values. Focus on personality traits and interests. And focus on vision and, 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 and like alignment in your goals for the future and mm. what a relationship looks like in five years, 10 years, you know? That is so important. That's mm. key points. That's mm. great tips right yeah. there. Yeah. Because it's true what you're saying. So many people, you know, focus on chemistry. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't know. Like to me, chemistry, yes, it's, it's good that we do have that. Mm. But to me, being compatible yeah. is key, more I, important than, than anything. It's a foundation to the relationship. Yes. You know, your shared values, your shared interests. And, you know, for example, like if I, I mean, I would never, but, you know, if I were to date like a couch potato, but he had a winning, you know, mm. value system, you know, but on the weekends I want to be out and about. Hey, babe, you want to go on a hike or you want to go on a jog or a walk? Exactly. Oh, no. 
how are we supposed to live a life together if we we don't share yeah. that you know common interest absolutely. you know absolutely so absolutely. yeah it's it's so important um there's one more thing i wanted to say about the the, the chemistry um but no, really, at, at the end of the day, you can have it with so many mm -hmm. people. It doesn't mean you're supposed to be in a relationship with them. And give yourself the grace to let chemistry build because right. it can. It, it absolutely can. Again, like on the first date with my husband, I can still remember it so vividly. Um, I literally told him, I'm like, this ain't going to work. <laughs> I go, because I know your brain. I go, it's logical. Um, right. You know, because I remember he was like, yeah, I'm an electrical engineer. I'm like, oh, electrical engineer. I'm like, you're very logical. I'm a very emotional, you know. So we are different, and so, and so I'm thinking automatically, oh, I don't know, the chemistry, you know. But we're the yin to the yang, like literally. Like we're not opposites, but we complement each other right. in our differences. And that's key. That's, that's important. It is. I always say you, you cannot date opposite of you. you. You can't, you know. There's just too many constraining things. You know, you're not going to see eye to eye. And virtually you won't be able to really respect them if you have right. opposite views on things. You know, but you need to have someone who's different from you. You know, right. my ex-husband, for example, I don't really talk about this a lot, but we were vi we're too similar. And I always thought that. Af like, after our first year, I'm like, wow, we're really similar. Right. You know? And que pasó? Like, what happened? You would you guys clash. Yes. Of course. Yeah. And that's something that a lot of people tell you. It's so like, oh, okay, opposites attract. We hear that all the time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you think, like, oh, okay, how are these two, yeah. you know, making it out when they're so completely different? Yeah. But I think at, in the long run, I don't think that works. I don't think that works yeah. in the long run. Yeah, no. It, I mean, differences are good, but opposites, uh, that's what I say. Opposites, you, you can't. Like, no. You know, because at the end of the day, the values, those shared values, that brings you mutual respect, you know, and support for Absolutely. one another. It's really hard to respect someone when you don't share the same values because you have different world views. It's true. I yeah. agree 100%. You yeah. can't have one person, you know, I don't know, maybe like a ma ma major Trumpster and a major <laughs> left winger. Left wing, yes. You know? <laughs> Even though true. I'm sure you guys have similar interests, and you right. know, but like literally how you view the world is so different. So yeah, and and people a lot of times at chemistry is thinking for today. That's cheap. You're thinking for right. today. You gotta be thinking long term, baby. If that's what you want. Exactly. You know. So again, I, you can have a spark with anyone. I can have a spark. You know. And it's like you know. The, in fact, a lot of times when I tell clients, question when you have the butterflies that first date. Question, because you're thinking probably nostalgically. You're thinking of like a movie, this programming that we had as children. Right. Oh, it's got to <gasps> have this like feeling, you know? Like right. I, I, I had that feeling for a lot of bad boys in my past. So when I get that like butterfly, I know it's not always like based off it's solid a ground. Thing. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I can talk so. Yeah. Much no, that. that's <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's excellent. Yeah. That's awesome because, um, it's normal when you're going out on a date. You're gonna get nervous. Yeah. That's, that's that's normal. Yeah. So you're saying when you feel that, beware of that. Like butterflies. So, right. When it's like, right. like for example, you go on a first date with someone and you call your best friend and you're like, you don't understand. This man is amazing. Like he <laughs> is my dream. He's my king. Like da da da. Because the X Y Z. You're probably thinking of first initially surface level things. Because how deep do you get in that first date? Not often. Yeah. Not often. So, just give it time. Give it time. Like I'm a very very big believer in the slow burn connection, which means. You let it burn. You let it build. Right. Okay. Not immediately. Not not. Because what happens when that beautiful flame comes out immediately when you put the gasoline on? Mm. Quickly it comes down. It, yeah. Not only that, I think everything at the beginning is like, you know, your first day. You're trying to be. You're trying to be first impressed. impressions. Yes. yes. One hundred percent. So I don't think really. You, first. you always have to give that person a second chance because that first time they're like, uh. But people are so picky. Yeah. They can say one wrong word, mispronounce a word, I have no or. Patience for that. <laughs> I have no patience for that. I had a girlfriend tell me, um, because he mispronounced his texting. Okay, or like I'm, I'm excuse me, he misspelled in in texting. That's, yeah, I've heard this. Okay, are you a believer in it? <laughs> I swear I've heard this that people oh, okay. be like, oh, he just, I don't know, I'm okay. an adult. Why are you texting me with Y D uh W Y D? What are you doing? Sure. And you're like abbreviating, like no, you know, like, like, would, I, you like know, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. where you at, or what you do, you know how they abbreviate, sure, sure. And it's like, no, why are you writing to me like I'm a, a you know, a teenager, uh -huh. like no, uh huh, people are I, picky. I get that, I get that, but it is not your responsibility to judge them before right. you really know for sure. For example, someone, 
okay, I'm not talking about like uneducated, like uh, oh, high school dropout, but no, then no, no, right. you built your your career. Like I'm talking about like uneducated, like you don't have manners, you yeah, know, yeah, things yeah. like that. That you suss out and the dates. You know, you're not gonna know that via text. For example, if I prejudged my husband, who by the way is the smartest man I know, he has a doctorate in electrical engineering. He's a freaking smart cookie. Like like all the presidents of like you know growing up in university, all the pre you know, he did all that. Does he spell wood texting WD? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Does he has he read thousands more books than me? Absolutely. Of I course. have books I haven't read. Right. Yeah, he's like he's like Mary Kate. All the books that I have, I have actually read. He's like Mary Kate. You have? I'm like I know. I'm guilty. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, but like, do I misspell in texting? I don't. You know. But like, if I prejudge that, like, I would have, well, missed out on the love of my life. But it's like, and you need to not do that too. You know, like because what does it really say about them? Okay, like they're in, maybe for him he calls it efficient texting, mm. and I call it like oh no, it just kind of seems uneducated. Right, but right. Yeah, so I'd say like in dating, so many. You know what? In fact, Evie, going back to your initial question, what I will say is people's biggest complaints is because people are like this. Um, you know, inauthentic. Uh, you know, only want sex or only want this is usually based off of people's misconceptions and prejudgments before even knowing the facts. Right. You know, so don't like, don't do that. I knew another girl who um, said, oh, well, let me remember the story because I remember I called her out mm. on it. Oh, she was recording this. Um, <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, I don't know. On the first date, she, I'm not sure if this is going to work long term um, because, you know, he was married before and she was married before, too. Right. But like, you know, it seemed really wishy washy why they got divorced. And I'm like, what wait, so you're jumping to conclusions yes. that he must be bad you know because you're really? assuming because you didn't get the full story of the first date you know really exactly <laughs> ask yourself the questions like what do i really know and what am i just assuming right like i mean what should concern you is you guys being compatible was yes. is there was there like a click and yes. long term like you said values i think that's key mm. don't base don't judge someone based on the past because Amen. it didn't work out with their with that person so Which thank god yeah, it you didn't know? work out. That's why they're in that situation. They're single. Yeah. You know, just exactly. because it didn't work out with one person doesn't mean it wouldn't isn't going to work out with you. I agree. You know, I and totally we agree. we I think especially I mean, I don't know what complaints that you hear from men about women. But women, like I said, okay, the texting. Mm -hmm. You know, oh God, look, he's you know, he mispronounced the word or he's, you know, texting, abbreviating, mm -hmm. you know, where you at or what are you doing? Yeah. You know, and we're quick to be so judgmental to be like, oh, we're cutting you off. And my biggest thing, Evie, is just ask better questions. Ask better questions. Yeah, because then that is going to get you better answers. And right. that's what you need. You need to collect the data, analyze the data. Like, is this, do I like this person? Right. Stop being worried if they like you. Do I like this person? But first collect data. And you won't know that until you ask meaningful, good quality questions. You know, I coach my clients a lot on that. You know, I set them up with like whole PDFs, you know, or like little <laughs> screenshots, putting their phone when they're on, we're oh, on the first good. phone call conversation, they're on the first date, you know? Like, what do I want to get to know about this person? What information do I need to right. know? Uh, like, what I need to have collected to decide whether or not I like them, you know, or they align with my interests and values, mm. you know? So, yeah, you, you don't know that until you start asking better questions. That's, that's good. But guys, guys' biggest complaints in general, not just here in Miami, um, well, you know, you get a lot of gold diggers. You get a lot of that. Sorry, I'll bring it back to Miami real quick. You do get a lot of women. And I just actually did a story on my Instagram about this today. I, I don't I don't get it. No lo entiendo, la verdad. No entiendo. Like, why are women asking men for money? <gasps> oh, my God. I, I, I can, don't get I it. I can go into a whole topic about that. Okay. The complaints that I hear with men. For men. And, and I've said this in my uh, my previous podcast. Mm -hmm. Was it my previous? No, sorry. The one before the, the last one. And um, I had interviewed a gentleman. And, you know, he's an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And he was saying, and not only that, not only him as an entrepreneur, I have a guy friend. Mm -hmm. And every time he comes down here in, mm -hmm. you know, business, he's always telling me, man, I met this beautiful girl. And can you believe she asked me for money already? She, already, she was already telling me that her rent was due. In the beginning, I mean, yeah, like one so day. Yes. Now that you mentioned this, and that's why I'm touching back on that, I hear this a lot. What's mm. up with that? I don't. get. No, I'm sorry. Can someone enlighten me? Like, I don't <laughs> get it. Like, for example, yes, does it take a lot to be pretty? Like, nails, the hair, yeah. like, all that. But you don't, like, men aren't requiring that. And women say, yes, they are. 
men tell me straight up, like, they're not. Like, I mean, hey, everyone's probably got their things. Like, you know, like, um, like my guy, like, he loves when I wear dresses. You know, he loves when I wear skirts. Like, and before, like, I really didn't wear that many. Like, I could be, like, you know. Right. But I would never put this on, like, on a date night with him. Like, there's certain things that every, but every guy is of different. Course. So don't say, like, every guy. No, like, he really wants the blonde hair. Like, dye your hair. Like, are they really asking you for that? You right. know? Right. So take a step back real quick. Um, but also, make your own money. Yeah. <gasps> make your own money. Do not depend. Because guess what? You're never free, baby. Because you'll be paying him some way or another. You know, I'll be paying him money to a Him giving you money, you will be paying for that. Your yep. freedom, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One way or another. You are not going to have your cake and eat it, too. Because so, that's transactional. So they have telling you that, the men. Yeah, I literally just had a man tell me that yesterday. First date. Wow. Asking for, yeah, rent money. What? The audacity. <laughs> Shameless. Shameless. It was embarrassing. I, I, I said, I talked about this. So I don't want to touch base on that again because sure, I did. Sure. But... Yes, this is one thing that I've been hearing about Miami mm -hmm. with women. Yeah, How and uh, by the way, it's not all. Like, I really think it's a very, very small percentage, probably less than 1%. Like, you know, but because some do it, then, of course, it applies to a lot of women. Of course. Yeah. Definitely. But not all, I want to say this, not all women want you for your money. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. I, I don't know if that's a shock to anyone. I don't Let's know. See. Maybe they need to find, uh, oh. I don't know, the, the type of women, maybe? Yeah. Because I so, think the type of women... That may be asking for money. There'll be probably a certain type of woman, in my opinion. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it yeah. is a certain type of woman, you know. So, you know, especially if that's what you want, you want the the fake this fake. Not, not that nothing's wrong with that. I'm not judging. I'm right. never here to pass judgment, you know. But again, if there's a cer certain look, like don't be surprised. Exactly. Don't be surprised. Um, but I also, agree. you know, I what did I post yesterday? Someone responded. They said, like, oh, that's Miami for you. Oh, oh, no, 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 dating, transactional dating Miami. And a guy said, that's Miami for you. They don't want real relationships. They just want to be taken out to dinner. And I said, it is that very mindset mm -hmm. that has dating being questioned in Miami. So forget about that mindset, one. <coughs> Two, if that's what they really wanted, there are websites for that. It's called Sugar Daddy. Right. Where they literally will be paid to go out to, you know, the best restaurant, Sexy Fish, whatever, the yes. best of the best. Um and get taken out to the dinner and be paid on top of that for the companionship. Like, no, it's true. So if that's what they really wanted, they could do that. Right. But I, ultimately, they do want the relationship, you know, on paper, but they're trying to have it with conditions. Mm. Yeah. So I, I, I don't like that. It's it's very transactional. And that's not real love. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. But I, I mean, it's just sad and to hear that. Yeah. Because as, I mean, you're hearing her from her, you heard it. I mean, if you've listened to my prior podcast and you've heard it from the gentleman I interviewed, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs, gentlemen that are established mm -hmm. and with these type of situations. Yeah. Which to me is actually embarrassing. It is. I mean, it's it's embarrassing. But it I'm is. sure you don't deal with those. You don't. No, put no, together those no. Type I don't of people. have any of those people in my database. <laughs> rest assured. And yeah. None of that. No. So <laughs> what tips would you be? Would you give, like, anybody that's out here looking as far as, like, I mean, you have talked about it and you mentioned yeah. what they should be doing, but anything that off mind that you think, hey, focus on this, mm. you know, if you want a successful, um, meaningful maybe relationship out yeah. of from a dating app, what are you writing? How are you approaching these people? Mm -hmm. So a couple things. Um, one, you can never screw up by being yourself. People a lot of times are, and in Miami, this gets a rep for putting on facades. Yes. Um, and for what? Because right. should the real you, because it's going to come out, no. come out six months, four months down the road. Right. So be authentically you, and what does that look like? How does that show up in dating? It is being you from the get-go, but also being straight up with what you are looking for. Okay. People, a lot of women, oh, I, I shouldn't, you know, dance around the fact that I am looking for a serious relationship. Maybe he won't call me back. Like, people are acting out of, you know, what this other person's going to think of me. Right. And that should not be driving your actions or your words. Like, be true to yourself, but first know what you want, you know, and deliver that appropriately. Right. A lot of times people's delivery is like, oh. Well, I told him I want uh, what I wanted. You know, I told him I'm looking for something serious. Oh, like, what? Like, how mm -hmm. abrasive were you, you right. know? Like, you know, ah, well, I, I'm, I'm working on a clock. Like, I mean, how is your delivery? Of course. 
you know, and all dating is, Edie, is looking at yourself in the mirror and accepting and recognizing that what you've been doing before hasn't been working out too well. I'm not saying it's changed everything. Right. But there's something that hasn't been working because being single is a choice. Many people don't want to hear that because the decisions you're making, because of the words you're saying, because the actions or lack of actions that you're taking, that is landing you being single. Right. Okay, because finding love in Miami is 100% possible. But it's taking ownership of your actions in learning to tweak something that's not going right. Okay, whether it be your lack of communication skills, whether it be your lack of boundaries, you know, whether it be your lack of self-love for yourself and mm, level of self-worth. That's key. Mm -hmm. That Amen. is very important. You know, or is it your lack of like not addressing trauma from your past? You know, so really work on being doubling down on what you love about yourself. You know, what you can accept and hopefully recognize what's not going so well and going to work on that. Absolutely. It's self-development. It's looking yourself in the mirror and saying, what do I got to change to be the best in order to attract the best? Yes, I agree with that. Those are great tips. Yeah. Awesome. I don't want to be like over vague, but you know, like. <laughs> no, no, but you know. that's key. That's yeah. key. And those are great tips Absolutely. because people look when you're dating, it, people are just, I don't know. I, I always say picky is the new single also. Say it again. Picky is the new single. Oh, the that's people. a good one. I like yeah. that. <laughs> That's good, Evie. Yeah. Pinky's the new single. Like you said, give amazing. people a second chance. Mm -hmm. Don't expect the first day. Of course, everything's going to go, I mean, probably nice. Yeah. You know. It should. And, um, but give, giving people that second opportunity. Yes. And um, be authentic, like you yes. said. Be and yourself. It's enough. I promise. It's enough. You know, what I think worked so well for me was that, like, I didn't hide behind any, you know, curtain with my, my husband. Like, I put the facts on the table. I'm like, I don't think I want another kid. I go, because if you do, then this may not work out right. with love and respect, you know? But, like, I'm not going to lie to you and say, maybe, I don't know. Like, you know, <laughs> in six months, like, no, no, Right, no. like, this is it. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like this is where I'm at. Like, I'm 90% of that door's closed, you know? Um, so being, being straight up about that, you know, straight up about what your expectations of a relationship look like, you know? Like, you know, we're at the stage we met when, how old am I? I'm 37 now, so we met when I was 32. Yeah, and, um, and or he was, like, 35. Um, so like at that stage in the game, y'all got like everyone should have some relationships under the belt. Yeah, that's course. a big question mark if no one has, you oh, know. Oh yeah. But like it's learning from those relationships and being straight up about like this. I know that's not what I want. This is what I'm looking for. You know, like that's beautiful because that's transparent. That's mm -hmm. vulnerability and that's confident in knowing what you want. And that was his biggest turn on for him. Was like you are confident. You know, that's key. Being yeah, confident. It's totalmente. Okay. And it's not because like I'm. Because there's no attachment. You either like you you accept this, you know, or yes. you don't. And it's mm -hmm. it's and that's beautiful. Like with people knowing themselves, you know, so many times people are telling people what they want to hear. That's true. Yeah, and I, I could go on about this. <laughs> no, no, no. This on. is a great topic. I know this is something, especially here in Miami, that so many people have that that mentality. Mm -hmm. And that they're always saying, oh, it's Miami. Miami's so superficial. That's what Miami, fun. it's horrible. I've even seen articles. Oh, yeah. Of, you know, that talk about how bad it is out here. Because everybody, you know, Miami's known for a party life. Yes. But you also have, I'm sure, that, that side of people that they're ready to settle down. They are. They are. Mm -hmm. Believe me, they are. Like, literally, <laughs> I just talked to two men today at the event I went to. And it's like, and they are like, I just, I'm, lo I'm ready for marriage, you know? And they're like in their, fit, like these are guys in their 30s, you wow. know? Yes. So a lot of times people are like, and that does happen a lot, by the way, where a lot of times like men, because they feel like they need, so this is what, look at Basta, this is what happens. So the man feels like they need to compete in this city because there's mm. a lot of wealth, a lot. And people don't, like people take for granted like six figures, like everyone should be making six figures. Do you know actually, like make your first initial six figures, it ain't chump change, and it's not like it just happens Absolutely. overnight. Like it happens with a lot of work, a lot of determination, a lot of a lot of things. Okay, you know. And then we're just talking six figures, and then we're talking mm -hmm. about the millions. You know, but like people talk as if everyone's making that money, and that's BS. I don't know if I can swear on your podcast, but that is yes. bullshit. Yes. Okay, it's a facade that you're seeing. It's the narrative that they're telling on social media that they're making that money. Right. Okay, but don't ever. No, seriously. I actually had a girl tell me at this event that um. Like this guy was hitting on her. He's like, "Oh yeah, I have this penthouse on uh, da -da, Miami Beach, da da." And like, and she hosts events because she's in like media relations and marketing and all that and PR. And um, and she's like, "Yeah, I could like I could you know, like, do you think I could host like?" Because he's like, "I know you host events. You could do it here." She goes, "I would love to." And then he's like charging her 
all this money. We're like, it was like, first he was like, I'm inviting you. Like, no, right. of course, look at my house, you know? Of so a lot of facades, a lot of facades. And like going back to the competition that men have, you know, to make it look like they have money, to actually make the money, you know, like people aren't ready to settle down for men until like their 40s or mid 40s. Because that's where they feel like finally feel like they are making it yes. a little bit more, you know? Right. Where women are ready in like their late 20s, early 30s. So there is this di- dynamic going on okay. um, where there needs to be flexibility, I think, like, on both sides. So it's like women are like, nope, only can date someone, like, a 29-year-old, only can date someone up to, like, 35. Okay, there's – the the populace mm. of – it's going to be more limited. That's all I'm going to say. You right. could find it. But the populace of men who are ready to settle down at 33, 34, it's going to be less oh, yeah. than the guy Definitely. who's 43, 44. Absolutely. So absolutely. it's a give and take. It's a dance, like everything, mm, you know. Absolutely. You have to look at that. Well, yeah. I mean, Mary Kate, this has been mm-hmm. great tips. I know we can continue talking oh my about gosh, this, totally so we can continue no on, um, on this topic. <laughs> I need you, or I would like for you to let them know. Uh, do you already have like your next event set up? Do you yes. know May thirty first. So, May thirty first. So let them know the yeah. audience if you are in Miami. Mm-hmm. Um, Miami Dade, Broward County, and you guys would like to come out and go to one of Mary Kate's events, please. She's gonna yes. go on ahead and let you guys know. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you, Evie. Yes. yes, it's a really fun time. Like everyone says, if they don't meet their person that night, everyone has told me one that they have a lot of fun. Two of the quality of people. They're like people are just so nice and respectful. You know, and like that's just refreshing sometimes a lot in Miami. Right. Right? Because we right. get a bad rep like for rude people. Yes. You won't <laughs> find that out at our events. <laughs> so May 31st, it's on Eventbrite. Um, you know, but fo- just follow me, MK Matchmaking on Instagram. And in my link tree, you'll see the event right there. Um, so you don't have to go searching on Eventbrite. Um, but yeah, yeah, follow me at MK Matchmaking. And guys, anyone who's single who is listening to this, just do yourself the favor mm-hmm. if you're looking for love, if you're serious about looking for love. It's not because you need to hire me. Just join the database. Join the database. It's free. It's private. It's exclusive. And you never know who you could be matched with. It could be a really beautiful, high-profile yes. female client or a successful male client. So join the database. There you have it. You mm-hmm. got it from an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Evie, so Thank much. you so much. I would definitely, um, definitely write down your information yes so if anybody didn't get it they'll make sure you know whenever i uh, tag you yeah that it's written on there thank you so much for thank taking you. your time for coming out here today yes I and it. talking about all of this you know dating especially here in miami yeah for those of you for my single people taking people um uh, please uh if you enjoyed this topic this episode please hit like subscribe and and i'm sure you guys have single friends that would sure enough enjoy this topic until then till next time ciao